today I decided to switch things up and go very, very dark. And I've mentioned it in a video before, I'm not a type of person to go towards a dark, all dark lid. I normally like to keep things bright on the inner corner, but I actually did this look a few weeks ago when I was going out with a couple friends and fell in love with it. I was like, okay, I can venture to that side more often now. So I decided to film this for you guys because I feel like it would be something for you guys that you could easily recreate. I only used three colors from the Kat Von D Me Vita Loca palette. So simple. So, so simple. I can't even, like, say that anymore. Like, just blending was the key in this makeup look. Just, it was so simple. So if you want to see how simple and easy it was to create this dark, very, I think it's more sultry type of look, with a very neutral lip, please keep watching. To start off with, we're going to use the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and we're just going to cover the whole eyelid with this. And on top of that, we'll use the e.l.f. Makeup Lock and Seal and this will help the eyeshadow to last longer and not crease. So using the Mi Vita Loca palette today by Kat Von T, we're going to start with the first shade called Strutter. And this is such a good light brown transition color to use in the crease since we are doing an all eye black eyelid today. So we're just going to blend that back and forth and make sure that our crease has a little bit of a shadow to it. Then going in with the harpsichord shade, we're just gonna put that right on top of that strutter color and this will create a bit of a shimmer into our crease since our whole eyelid will be matte. I felt like this would be a really good shade. Dark, it's like a dark orange shimmer color to put in that transition color. Then we're going to use the black metal shadow and we're just going to pack this on the eyelid. It doesn't matter if it's messy, neat, clean because we are just going to be blending the crap out of this. And to blend this all out I am using a Morphe blending brush. I'm not sure of the number but I will be linking everything down below. And I, when I was doing this, I was like, okay, I want a little bit of a bright and a little bit of a brightness in the inner corner. But then I decided later on, no, we're not going to do any pop of color, any pop of shimmer in the upper inner corner. So then, as you can tell right now, I'm covering that up. And voila, both eyes are done. Using just a makeup remover wipe, I'm going to be cleaning up and sharpening up my edges of this look. For um, a primer, I'm going to use the Nivea Men Poche Balm in the Sensitive. And this, you just want to massage this into your face until it becomes tacky. And I've heard this is a really, really good primer, so I'm just going to try it out and see how it is. For foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal True Match in the shade W1 with a damp beauty blender. This is just my ride or dive foundation. I'm taking a break from my Cover FX one that I love so much. I'm just going to go back to a really oldie but goodie product. Patting motions, remember guys, and make sure you get into your hairline and your neck so you have no sh lines around your face at all. For concealer, I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer in Fair Neutral, and I will also be blending this out with a damp beauty blender. So then after I have all of my concealer blended out, I'm going to be taking the MAC Pro Emphasize Powder mixed with the Banana Powder from the ABH Contour Kit and I'm going to set all the areas I just concealed and highlighted. And then once I have that done, I'm just going to be taking a fluffy powder brush and I'm just going to set the rest of my face with the Rimmel Pressed Powder in the shade Translucent. And then once I have the rest of my face set, I'm going to go into the ABH Contour Palette and just use the middle contour shade. Carving out my cheekbones my nose, my underneath my lip, and then my temples, and underneath my chin. Once everything is blended out to the way that I like it, after 
I contour, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. translucent powder and I'm going to bake the lower half of my face. And going in with uh, Too Faced Who's Your Poppy Blush, I'm just going to blush up my cheeks a bit. And then I did my eyebrows off camera quickly and I'm going to then powder off the rest of that translucent powder that I baked. And using Lyric, I'm going to just highlight my brow bone. And then we're going to start smoking out the lower lash line here. And I'm just going to start with that strutter color and right away after that I have that blended out, I'm just going to go with the metal black and smoke it out and blend until I feel necessary. Once it's blended out, I'm going to use that Lyric shade again and I'm just going to brighten the inner corner of the lower lash line. Before mascara here, I almost forgot to apply black liner to my waterline. And then right after I finish that, I'm going to use a Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara with one tube full and the other empty with a clean wand to comb through my clumps. Because if you don't know yet, I hate clumpy lashes, so I have to make sure I go through and comb them out. So then once I have that done, I'm going to use the Becca Pearl Cream Highlighter first. I'm just going to apply that with my fingers to the high ends of my cheekbones, my nose, and my cupid's bow. And then I'm going to be taking Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill, and I'm just going to go over top of all of those places, adding a little bit to my temples and my chin. And then with my lips, I'm going to keep it very simple. I started with the Buxom Thin Lipstick in the shade Brooklyn, and I'm just going to do the bottom of my lips and my cupid's bow. And blend it a little bit out with my fingertip. Over top of that, I'm using NYX Black Label Lipstick in the shade Honey. This is just a really good nude, just a plain nude to use. And then on top of that, I'm going to be mattifying it with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Stockholm. Now to set my face today, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set Spray. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, it helps a lot. And then please subscribe if you haven't already. Searching for a longer day Really hope I'm focused <clears throat> Flip, and so I don't know where I was going with that That's real clever, Caitlin Really My little buddy today while I film See, my name's Gabby, yeah Can't even see her, she's so dark She's gonna be blurry up there Yeah you want some of that? I hope I make sense when I talk. <laughs>